Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing Clear the Map playthrough of Fallout 4. I'm here with my lovely companion, Dog Meat. Let's make sure I'm all set to go meet uh, Skinny Malone or whatever the hell his name is. Okay. I'm wearing my charisma gear because uh, I want to uh, see if I can pass a speech check and maybe not have to fight. Uh, if the bullets do start flying, I'm going to need to move house. quickly sure to the right, guys? get behind this column over here, but we'll see. Make sure I'm all healed up. Be here if it for your two -timing Let them yak for a minute. You ought to tell it to write home more often. Oh, That's right, dog meat. Size them up, buddy. Huh? Get a look. Where do you want to bite? By a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault... I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. All right, cross fingers. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! Yeah. I've gotten all mixed up. Silver-tongued devil. Where, That's what I am. Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. You have to tell me twice. Two. Three. Yep, three machine guns at that range. They can get you pretty quick if you're not careful. So I'd rather skip that fight. There's also a little thing if you uh, give Mama Murphy some uh, jet. Uh, let her have one of her visions. She can like tell you a little passphrase that will also get you through that without having to pass a speech check. It's kind of cool, and not a lot of whole lot of people uh, know about it. So, Duke, Duke, Nick should be coming up any second. Okay, I'm on Nick. Make sure I still have the right thing set. Uh, yep, follow Nick. Yep, there he is. Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned More caps. something about your son, Sean. Mo caps, mo money, I mo want problems. You to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Uh, I'll meet yeah, you there. I'll meet you there. You in Diamond City. Ah, uh, well. That seems like an awfully low amount of XP for... That's a lot of machine guns in that vault. <laughs> Fast traveling is much faster. You keep an eye on that thing. I don't want to hear about anybody getting bit. Yes? That dog is the last thing you need to worry about around here. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Give her a raise, oh, Nick. God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. 
Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Nick said he was going to give you a raise. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche oh, market, that wasn't, that's for wasn't sure. Very nice. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, yes, I if do. you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. All right, One give me a trench coat. Time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. It's a cool look, but uh, no armor, and I don't think you can put anything on over it, and I also don't think you can put the ballistic weave on it. Gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you Which can. Which is crap. No matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's a baby. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. The discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Jason Wait. Statham. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Love that cereal. I... might have. Way better Everything than sugar foggy. bombs. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Hmm... There's no, no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a ten-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? Should still be careful. I always that part have. of town. It's like ten feet away. <laughs> Let's try on our new duds. Let's see how we look. I mean, I use it, but yeah, see that thing covers your whole body. Can't put anything over it. It's a cool look. If you like the role playing aspect of this. Play the detective. Get you a little uh, snub nose 44. Looks like an old police revolver. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. That's what I think Nick's I, uh, default gun should be. Hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. 
is a pretty fashion scavenger. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Yeah, stealing babies must be tough. Anyway, Nick's uh, default gun is like a pipe pistol, you know. I'd give him a better gun, but you got to give him all the ammo too. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. I've tried to give him a it's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide. Submachine gun and another playthrough, and boy, he ran through that ammo quick. <laughs> Won't be able to pick this. Nope. Do beg for me. I'm a amateur at lock picking. No luck. Guess we'll need to find a key. See that platform in the distance near the city I entrance? Mm -hmm. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. He's up in the press box. All right, man, I'm on it. Let's get back into my charisma gear. Too bad this doesn't have a charisma stat on it. I like that hat too. That's actually Nick's hat. I was wearing the wrong one. I have a feeling a speech check's about to come up, so gotta have our good stuff on. Come on, dog me. Let's go see the mayor. I think I uh successfully speech checked him the first time if I remember right Who's really in control of Diamond City? Read the pop so he likes me he's good Just running through everybody's backyards click pretty sky it's good looking clouds there Piper causing trouble again. Come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens All to right. be meeting with the same suspicious so long hit too. Nice. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding... Devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> Like me. I was just leaving anyway. And dog meat. Get a dog. They might like Most you better. Most receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the All press. Do Did you Piper, shut up. Yep. I, I need Kellogg's to talk house. to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I can feel the gears of bureaucracy grinding me up already. Like grist in the <laughs> mill, honey. Good luck. So you feel me, huh? Okay. No funny business around the mayor. No Got funny it. business. Got it. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. Man, I've been How making your I town a better place. I've helped all your citizens by now. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Are you sure? 
Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Come on, fingers crossed. Yeah. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find I don't know the lore behind it, but, but I'm pretty I sure McDonough is a synth that was planted house. there by the Institute. It's kind of funny he'd give up Kellogg like this. this whole thing might be fruitless. Since Kellogg works for the Institute, too. Spoiler. Let's go back and give Nick the good news. Looking town. Took a lot of talented people. <laughs> Long time to make all that. Get your copy of the public. We expose the truth behind the institute. Who needs a haircut? Broke up with my girl. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. Synths do keep caps off the toothpaste. You're damn right. I think my wife is a synth. Damn sure all my kids Got are. The key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. The paranoia is setting in already. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, let me just check his house real quick and I'll let you know. He left some duct tape, corn, handcuffs. I what the hell he's doing you. up here? Think a guy like Kellogg would think big. You know what? I'm psychic, so I'll tell you that there is a little button down here. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All Got some goodies in here, depending things. on your play style. Potato. Guy likes the vegetables. Fifty hey, caliber Valentine. bullets. Not a bad thing. Get out of the way, Nick. We'll compare notes. Okay, more forty-five rounds. Could always use those. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if I have a dog could just for this. Scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, I can. dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. It's not that I want to do it on my own. It's that my stats Any are better without you, Nick. Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. You've heard of the Lone Wanderer so perk, right? You don't need to be afraid of him. Or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Damn right. Valentine's very confident Goodbye, in me. Hopefully not just forever. having met me. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Oh, Nick. It's a good guy. Good to be back in Diamond City. Check how many fusion cores I have. I have a few. They are needed for a certain thing. Remember when we unlocked this or found that waypoint? Now it's time to go have a chat with these folks. 
if I'm going to go up against Kellogg, I need some decent weapons. Oh, you know what this cow means? My girl is here. Oh, cricket. Got so many flavors of mayhem for sale. Don't I the hey there. Ramen if you Better got buy any my sense. big guns now because you bet your ass your enemies will. This woman is slightly unhinged. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot uh, death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. All right, got a sound like a person to talk to. A part of every big purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up in your honor. That's sweet. Okay, she carries some decent stuff here. There's one I'm particularly interested in. And it's that monster right there. Silenced submachine gun with explosive bullets. And it's only like two grand, a little over two grand. She's got some other miscellaneous stuff too. And here, start getting rid of my cheap money and stuff, or cheap, uh, cheap rounds. Five hundred of those things. I don't need that many. You always think about what you're going to use in the future. Try to. Still wants about two thousand to go. And this is where all those drugs I stole come in. Let's keep one for good measure, just in case you need it. And kaboom, took all our money, got At the spray and pray. It's a good start. Brain Prey is a good gun, but you can kill yourself with it really easily, especially if uh, something closes in on you, like a ghoul, any type of melee attacker, and you start spraying that thing, all those bullets explode and kill yourself. So I wasn't even expecting Cricket to be sitting there. I just bought that for the hell of it because I got money to spend. But this is what I'm actually in for is getting into this vault, talking to their people. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I I'll be got honest. Vault 111. Vault 111. Haven't heard of that one yet. I'm one of you guys. What sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler, not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can. Usual like trader, so else. they do Let trade with folks. Then they do open this gate. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Maybe a red check. Come on. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? All the more reason to help out a fellow vault then. <laughs> the way in hell was I passing that one. I'm interested. Okay. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three to be exact. That's why I was checking to see how many I had. In fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Yep, just got three of them in my pocket. You know, considering this one of these things can like power your whole vault forever. But for some reason it can only power a 
power armor suit for about 50 steps. The Vault 81 is a interesting little place. It's got a lot of little sub-quests. There's even a follower that you can get while you're in here. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the, the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects look healthy. underway. Gwen McNamara, They all look overseer. well-fed. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Yeah, and that's why Cricket was out there. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. That's not horrible. You should be open-minded about the Commonwealth. It has its dangers, but it's got a lot to offer. It's the dangers that concern me. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Sure. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Thank you, thank you. Just a little, uh, give up three cores and get 77 experience. Not a great no trade, but I'll take XP for anything. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? This Ashes, cat is a small going? plot point. Ash. Damn dog it. meat didn't even give There's a damn. Oh, that's right. Dog meat's still stuck in Diamond City. Waiting on me. Hope that pit boy belongs to you. It does. Sorry, you'll take the next one. Okay, nice clean vault. Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Me? No, I'm from the moon. I'm such a Still smart ass. In my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, so cheap. but I'm not paying you. I just okay, want the XP. Okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. I'll take a walk around with this kid. It's another little tiny quest, you know. Every little bit of XP helps. And if you've never been in this vault before, it kind of shows you around. Shows you everything there is. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot. So I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. And let's be buttholes during this. You're right see to what they say. Them. I don't think I've ever they used these like speech parts. They're not so bad. They don't hit each other or anything. Oh, well, that's Next good. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. This one, uh, this vault kind of reminds me of the vault from the new TV show. You know, the at the beginning, you know, it's very functional, very clean. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Never met a politician that wasn't corrupt. I'm not sure what you mean by corrupt, but she's not mean or anything. Next That's stop, what I mean, yeah. The diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. <laughs> They're pretty nice. Grant Mrs. sounds like Somerset's a nice lady. pies are the best. Bad food. I bet the food here is terrible. Nuh-uh. It's pretty good. Especially her pies. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. 
I told you they were nice. Do you like These are always the people you're yeah, like, oh, you're I cannibals, or they always suspect them of something. Some you got a barber. You take up a quarter of this level for a barber shop. This is just first vault problems here. Nice. Okay, tattoo. I wish I would have tell you what that was. I don't even know which one that, that is. That hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Gran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Cutting my throat? Letting someone with a sharp instrument near my throat. He's never cut anyone. And he's even shaved men's faces with a razor. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Nope. Oh, wonder how his parents died in this nice place. Sunshine Diner probably ate him. Hi, Gran. Austin. Oh, what hydroponics are you doing here? thing are you going on in here. Growing weed a bit. I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy, but it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. And weed. She's a pain. <laughs> Sounds like she's a real pain in the ass. Hey, don't talk about my gram like that. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to try it. I don't it. mind a little sass. Let it go, Austin. Next yeah, up. Yeah, Austin, let it go. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you I'm where following I you, man. Move I it. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Oh, yes, I did. A student. Apple for the teacher every day. Kid's a little off balance. This what lovely school. thing can I this say about the teacher, I wonder? It's boring most of the time. But Grant says I have to go anyway. Your gran is a smart woman, Austin. School's a waste of time. Learn to shoot a gun instead. That's what I tell That's gran. Great advice. She says brains beat brawn every time. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless gran makes me. All right, kid, move it. We're on a time schedule here. I have to go back and see a woman about a gun. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Still yeah, use leeches. Relax. I bet they still use leeches. I've never seen a leech. But Miss Katie told us about them. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and right. I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Come on, kid. we got to pick this up. I normally skip this quest. I think I I did it the first time I ever played this game, but every other kid in this game runs everywhere. <clears throat> this is the only uh, walking child I've ever seen. <laughs> Go to Diamond City and they're running all over the place. Same thing in Skyrim. Go to White Run and there's children running everywhere. Aaron, look who I found. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Mom and Dad over there sleeping in bunk beds. It's not a good sign. It's no big deal. I'm just a person like everyone else. Yeah, but nobody in the vault hunts for their own food. Or gets into fights with guns. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm heading out. Don't wait up for me. That would have been funny to hit an idiot mister. savant on that one. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? Oh, I told you. Someone's going to be asking about that cat. I can't ask this kid I for money. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got I here. do have yeah, some principles. Vault. Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. 
I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. Yeah, he He's was probably eaten, cat. but we'll see. I just want him to come home. Okay. Got a couple little bits of XP in here. There's other quests that you can do if you you can spend a decent amount of time in this vault. I think if you uh, complete enough seeds. stuff, they'll even give you your own room here. You know, it's like having a uh, living space with your nice own storage and everything. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix Gotta it. Right get up. everybody back in their stores. It's in the middle of the night, although you can't tell in here. Let's get it to about eight in the morning. Business hours. Please, so we can do some business. Whatever it is, it can oh, they just All fight. Right, so boy. If it ever starts acting You're up on you, see Alexis. See, everybody's She'll healthy right up. Very chubby. Husband and father. Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Hi. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And I heard you have a very special gun here. These days. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Mm, Let me know really. if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great, great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. And there she is. Oh, I forgot. She has a that uh, destroyer right leg. I do like those. I, I will buy these because they're so cheap and they increase your movement speed. That's fantastic. Other stuff is a little too expensive. And now I can sell her some drugs. got tons of them see I just bought the most the two most uh, powerful guns in the game pretty much and mostly from the uh, that drug deal gone bad or good for me <laughs> okay that took a little while a little tour a little walkie-talkie and all that but uh, I think it was pretty good uh, so before I continue my quest we're gonna have to go and uh, make a few modifications let's say and we might even go and see if we can't find that little girl's cat real quick before that thing gets eaten uh, sometimes you can just run over and grab him but uh, yeah we'll have to see but before we go running out of this vault Hi, again all willy-nilly I think we'll mates. go ahead and uh, call it a part here so I appreciate everybody for joining me on uh, this episode of Mad Cardigan. Fallout 4, clear the map, and we will see you in the next one.